death, I'm the mother of three children, a founder of the Lighthouse School, and I'm currently the board president of the Lighthouse School. I'm here today to speak on behalf of the Lighthouse School Board of Directors and our school community. During our 13 years of involvement with this district, we have seen many changes. I know many of you were not involved with the district 12 years ago when a similar reconfiguration plan was proposed that would involve busing in-town children out to the North Bay campus. The community spoke out strongly at the time against the plan, and the board at the time clearly heard their concerns. The Lighthouse School helped resolve some of the issues by filling an empty wing at the North Bay and bringing federal money to the district through grants and funding from out-of-district students. The community then banded together with donations and hours of hard physical labor. Volunteers planted a garden, built a playground, and rooms were repaired and painted. Part of the playground was paid and grass was receded. <coughs> Through all of this effort, a strong sense of community was established that has led to the continual success of the Lighthouse School. I learned through this experience to never underestimate the power of a community that cares deeply for their children's education. Like most schools, community is one of the key philosophies that the Lighthouse School is built around. Every child, every family is important. The children and families grow together in a nurturing environment. We have found that having multi-age children in one school is beneficial. It warms my heart when I walk into the school in the morning and I see an 8th grader holding a kindergartner's hand or a 2nd grader reading a story to a 6th grader. <laughs> the older children are natural role models for the younger children. And the younger children help keep the middle school students humble. Parents and grandparents volunteer, and relationships develop across many age spans. We have become one big family. A strong community is vital to a child's education. It builds self-esteem, trust, and a sense of belonging. It builds qualities in a child that an Oaks test can never measure. <laughs> developed an academically challenging and emotionally nurturing environment. Children want to come to school and they want to learn. We only have one class at each grade level. The current proposal of reconfiguration separates all of the school communities within the district. Most district children would be placed at four different buildings before graduation. Siblings, neighbors, and friends would be fragmented and the Lighthouse School would have classrooms scattered within the building. Approximately 200 students would be added to the North Bay campus, even though the school is already full and having difficulties finding time and shared spaces such as the library, gym, computer lab, and cafeteria. The Lighthouse School has always dreamed of having more space for our children so we can offer even more educational opportunities. Instead, the current proposal decreases our square footage significantly, and it segregates our community. The Lighthouse School Board does not agree with the pro proposed reconfiguration plan. We feel strongly that the changes proposed would affect the philosophies, the educational opportunities, and the sense of community within our school. We do not believe this plan is in the best interest of the Lighthouse School or the remainder of the North Bend School District community. Um, there were so many issues with the plan that's currently on the table. I know a lot of people here haven't actually seen the um, plan of how the rooms will be reconfigured. But in um, the essence of keeping to my three, around my three minutes, we've written them out and we will be giving a copy to all the board members. And I also am curious if um, all the administrators signed the letter of their support, or only some of them. Mm -hmm. 